Alrighty, so I did just record a whole lot of footage and I had to get rid of all of it because for some reason this camera, actually I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, I had to get rid of all of it because for, like sometimes this camera, if you're not careful, you put your phone in your pocket and the camera app's still open or something, it'll swipe across the slow-mo and then all the footage you've recorded is useless. So what we have done, like you've just seen, tailgate is completely on now and it works. All of the trim is on, oh, except for these two side pieces that I'm just painting black. So the tailgate's done, so we can close that up, just for now at least. I haven't put the lock on it, because obviously without power I won't be able to open it. Um, so what I'm doing at the moment is I'm measuring out where I'm going to put the hood pins for the bonnet. Now, I've found a pretty cool place where it is actually the same thread pitch as the, uh, as the hood pins. So, and it'll also help holding up the front bumper just to look a bit better too. So, got these perfect spots, and it was exactly where I wanted to put them anyways. So yeah, got these tiny little spots just here and here. And the good thing about these being on a ball bearing is they can rotate. So because if you look from back here with the front cross member, they lean forward the, the tiniest bit, tiniest bit. So this is what the plan is. So now I'll take these off, put a tiny bit of toothpaste on the top of these, line the bonnet up as best I can and just dab, dab it on so that it just leaves a little mark. And then I can do the scary part of drilling into the bonnet. So yeah, it is uh, rather intimidating thinking about drilling into the bonnet because uh, you can only really do this once and there's a lot of reinforcement on the bottom side of the bonnet um, and I obviously have to cut that out and that risks cutting through too far. I just hate doing this stuff, but it will be all worth it. So I'll go get some toothpaste. I'll uh, might ask Indy for some help just so we can place it down perfectly. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, so already today, we've already smashed out the tailgate, putting on the bonnet now, and we're gonna try and get everything perfect. So and we're gonna try and get it so that the bonnet's sitting on there. So yeah, I guess, like always, no point wasting time talking about it. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board with this, because so the bonnet has to come down a tiny bit, but because of like how much it comes up to go around, there's like still like this much, like this much room between the top of the hood pin and the bonnet. So I have to figure out, I don't exactly want to extend it, but even when you push down to have the fitment where it should be, it's still not perfect. I wonder if you can see it. You probably can't. You can see that even when I'm pushing down on the bonnet, it's still not touching the top. So, and that's even from, from the underside, you can't see there, but from the underside, that's as far down as the hood pin, or as far up as the hood pin can come, so. You have to weld some nuts in there or something so that they're tall enough, which is a little bit annoying. This flat bar, which I'm slowly bending, so I think I'd have it kind of coming from there, and then obviously down under the bonnet, so that it's kind of like sitting on that angle. Now this this bar is like it's too thin and flimsy kind of thing that it wouldn't be able to support the bonnet kind of thing. But this will be what I use to make the uh, testing piece out of. Just, just so that I can figure out, so I can trace it onto, or get someone to make some thicker ones. Just because it has to actually hold the weight of the bonnet too. And, and yeah, so I'll either come get a wider bar to come out from both of those holes so it can't pivot, and then come up to like maybe here in this flat spot. Because then I'd have one here and one roughly about here. That should look pretty good. And then if I need to, I can add more later. Alrighty, but... Indy and I are going to take a short break. God, even though it's covered in my fingerprints, it's cool to see the uh, tailgate on it. All right, so now that I'm back, I've thought of like making up a different kind of bracket system. Um, now I've got like just a, a brief design that I'm going to run with, see how it works. So for the front of them, if I decide to put it just there, this bracket will then take up the distance that it needed so that it can, so that like you can also have the custom customizability to, uh, like choose what the, what height you want. Because obviously you need to be able to dial it in. You can't just be maxing out the size of it. And um, if I need to go smaller, then I can make a smaller bracket. But this will be the first like iteration that I'll design to like to see how it goes and see if it works and see if it goes where I want it to. And yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go from here and see how it goes. All right, so I've got my two little hood pins set up. Um, now, of course they kind of stick out because they're bright silver right now, but I'll paint them black so they blend in a little bit more. I mean, on camera, they look like they sit, stick out like a sore thumb, but in person, they, you can barely see them. Um, and I will just use these as like the standard brackets. So, so I've just used a standard M6 bolt, which is the same thread as these. 
to uh, thread them into the like an already pre-drilled and threaded hole that was already there. I mean, like especially like I was just saying, like in person they don't stick out at all, but at the same time they really do. Maybe I'll paint them black and we can look at it and see what we think then. Alrighty, so I played around with a couple different heights and mounting options of the way that I want to do these and run them. But I do remember recently, I just saw, yeah, the guy with the orange VK, sus VK at there, at that recent event that they had at um, uh, Queensland Raceway, Queensland Raceway, yeah, I don't know what it's called. Um, I noticed that his bonnet, he was using these same ones and at a high speed, his bonnet actually ripped open, flipped over the windscreen and tore his front like canal area and all that. So I messaged him and I was like, did you get these certain ones off eBay? He said, yes, don't get them, they failed. Completely forgot about that. So luckily before I've started actually drilling into the car and making any, any issues or anything, I looked online to find some, uh, some different styles and everything. And it turns out that these, even though these are a complete aluminium design and they're actually pretty cool, and like I would almost trust these if I hadn't seen that they'd failed before. Um, there's a company called Quick Latch. It's out of the States. There is an Australian dealer that I have already contacted. And it's pretty much, I guess you'd say, the real version of these. And they're a lot bigger. You can get them a lot taller. And you can get them so that like the, the tops are, are a lot rounder. So they're covering more surface area. Because that was one thing that I was worried about with these. Was, for instance, like... They're, they're, they're pretty small, so if I put it just here... So yeah, they don't have much surface area to be holding an entire bonnet. So these ones that I've been looking at are a little bit wider. Same designs, work the exact same. You can get lockable ones as well. I don't think lockable ones are completely necessary. I might get them, I don't know. But it will d uh, change it so that we don't need to build these uh, ugly brackets. Um, and we can just work off drilling one hole. They're longer and they're thicker and more suitable for this application. And they'll probably be a lot more safer. But I got work tonight, so I gotta wrap this video up now so that I can start editing it, get it up in time. Because if I don't start now, it won't get up tonight before I gotta go to work. So that's what I'm gonna wrap up for today. Um, it's good that we've got the tailgate back on. And now like the exterior of the car is like sealed kind of thing, which is awesome. Um, and then yeah, hopefully like tomorrow I'll try and sort out what I'm doing with these bonnet hinges. And then for Friday, we'll actually have it so that the bonnet can be secured. And it's almost due for another freaking wash. It's covered in that much dust and crap. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully, maybe fingers crossed by Friday, we'll have the fuel system here and then we can run through what we're doing, start to dummy that up. And then, uh, yeah, tonight I'll get in contact, see if the injector hat's on its way yet. And yeah, simple things like that. But that's where I'm gonna wrap up today's video. Catch you guys in the next one, which will be Friday, 6 p.m. Be there or be square. Alrighty, guys. Peace.